So the video you're about to watch is actually a vlog from two years ago. I was going through the videos I had uploaded on YouTube and I found a vlog that had no thumbnails, completely edited and uploaded. And it was all about how I record my YouTube videos. And a lot of you guys ask me how I record my YouTube videos. So I figured I might as well post it. It's really cool just looking back on where I was two years ago, especially since I just posted a vlog. So don't get confused. The vlog I posted last was just the other day and the vlog you're about to watch is from two years ago. So I'm in a completely different spot, but the information is still accurate. All the links should be up to date. And the only difference is that when I record my recipe videos, I don't use a mic, I just record with no audio. And then when I go to actually edit the video, I'll do a voiceover and add the audio in. But other than that, all the information is still up to date and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Good morning, Luna. Hey guys, so it's already two o'clock and I just got done getting ready. I figured I'd show you guys how I record my videos. Let me show you guys how I set up. So I set up my little tripod right here and I'll actually link all this stuff down below. Um, most of the stuff I purchased like years ago, so I won't be able to find this exact tripod, but I'll find something similar. Cause I do know that some of you guys do have your own YouTube channels or you want to like start your own channel. So yeah, I'll just share with you guys like how I do it all. Um, I also have these three lights. This is a ring light that was sent to me for free quite a while ago. I will link it down below. I bet I can find the link since I have a video review of it. I don't know if that video is still public though. Um, and then I got this newer ring light. This was the first ring light I ever purchased. It's actually my favorite ring light and I use that. And then I also use this kind of lamp thing here. It's totally crooked. It does not stand up straight. I'm well aware of that. But anyways, this, uh, you can probably buy it at like Target or something, something really similar. And then you just want to buy like extremely bright light bulbs. These are this. That's what the light bulb is. I'll link to it down below as well. But you definitely need like a bright, bright light bulb because that's what makes the lighting like good lighting. And as you guys can see, it's like extremely dark in here. And sorry, that's like my pile of recycling I need to take out. Um, but yeah, so it's really dark in here. So I have to use like a lot of different lights for that. You might not need that depending on where you live. It's really cloudy always here in Ohio. Okay, sorry, the lighting's gonna be bad until I get the lighting on. So my tripod goes here and then typically I put the least brightest light over near the window because it needs like the least lighting. And then I put the brightest light, which is the newer ring light over here because it's the darkest. And then I typically always have this like lamp in the middle. So that's what I do with lighting. Let me show you guys how I do my audio. This is actually something new I started doing. So I got this blue Yeti mic which highly recommend. Great quality mic. I set her up just right here on the ground. And this is a pop filter. This just supposedly makes your audio like better quality. And then this is like another filter that's supposed to make the audio better. I'll link both of those down below. I just put her on the ground like that. Let's grab my Canon Rebel. This is what I use for my actual YouTube videos, not my vlogs. We need to put a memory card in her but I just set up my camera on here and I grab this cord here. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it's a cord with two auxiliary jacks on each end. And this is, I think six foot and you plug it into the mic outlet on the Canon and then you plug the other end into the Yeti mic. So she chills there and then we need my laptop. So we grab my computer and then we just sit her on the ground next to the mic and this cord right here. This is the cord for the mic that plugs into the computer. And this is essentially like the power for the mic. Without it, it won't work. So you wanna make sure your computer stays on and doesn't like, you know, go to a black screen or the screensaver cause then it'll quit uh, recording your audio. And then it'll flash red and you wanna make sure you unmute it. You can just sit here and it'll pick up all of your audio and it'll record it straight into the camera. I'm gonna record this video and I'll catch up with you guys after I'm done. I know what I need to do next. I have a few products in my room that have just kind of been chilling in beakers and I need to package those up into bottles and stuff. So let's do that. Actually, I wanna check my Etsy messages really quick. So many people just 
I don't know, like so many people have been wanting wholesale lately on Etsy and we just have to like go back and forth like so many times to figure out what they want. Like, I don't know. We just go back and forth multiple times and it's hard for me to find time throughout the day to like reply to their messages. So um, every time I get a, a second to think, I'm like, all right, gotta reply to some Etsy messages. All right, so I have all of these beakers to bottle up, so let's do that. So I got everything packed up. So now what I wanna do is record the second half of a video that I've already recorded. And this is actually going to be a formulating for beginners series video. And it's gonna be all about face washes. And I'm basically explaining like the ins and out of like everything you need to know about making a face wash. So I wanna show you guys how I actually like set up to record uh, videos in here. Um, I record my videos here and I go grab one of my backdrops. Well, my tripod will go here and I'll set that up. And basically, I'll just show you guys now, actually. Ignore all my dirty dishes over there. But you really have to set up the tripod like a certain way in order to get it like really tall and like facing down because you want it to be like pretty high up so you can get like a good amount of surface area but it also needs to be at this angle as well so it's pretty tricky to do okay there you go that's what she looks like i have it balancing on this box and then you have a nice like sky view and then i use the viewfinder to make sure everything is like where i want it to be and then i just sort of move all of my lights around it to make sure it's lit up well okay and i might adjust those once i see what it looks like on the viewfinder but i'll show you guys what i do for audio so i take the stool i put it here and then here's my whole mic setup which i showed you guys earlier how to do it can i just do the same thing so i just put my mic like here in the corner as far away as possible then we need my laptop and i put her there make sure I plug it into my laptop. And then one end of this auxiliary cord is plugged into here. I showed you guys this earlier. And then I plug the other end into my camera into the mic slot, which I can't do with one hand. But yeah, so that's what it looks like when I record my videos. There you go, for all you guys who are wondering. So I'm gonna start recording. See you guys later. All right, so we got that video all done and recorded. So like I said, this is for my Formulating for Beginners series and it's all about face washes. So I made little like sample batches or whatever you wanna call them of like a bunch of different thickeners like Scylla Gel, Xanthan Gum, Sepamax Zen to sort of show you guys like the viscosity of all the thickeners for face washes. And I made little sample batches of a bunch of different surfactants that I have just so you guys can like kind of like see what they look like. And also this is a great way to get a good idea at how much each surfactant like lathers and foams on its own. So you can just add in like 20% foaming apple with 80% uh, distilled water. Make sure you incorporate a preservative in there too. And then you can just like use this as like a body wash to get a good idea at like how well it lathers and stuff or how it feels on the skin, on your face. And yeah, I just did all that I talked about all these ingredients and I discussed like other ingredients to use in face washes as well. And then I'll be doing like a part two of doing some like example face wash recipes with like these different ingredients for like different skin types. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I think I'm gonna end it here because I'm hungry and I have some dishes to do and there's nothing really else exciting happening today. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Later.
Some